If we think of our attention as the lens of a camera, the little directors in our head favor close-ups, love the close-ups. It tends to keep us focused on what's in front of us at this moment, what's in the news cycle at this moment, what is the drama going on in my life or at my office in this moment. And when we do that, it's difficult to see anything to the side. Like a horse wearing blinders, we can't see anything else. But if we take that camera and we pan back, we start to see a wider perspective. We pull it back a little bit, we can see the whole week. We pull it back a little bit more, we can see the whole month. The farther we're able to pull the camera back, the greater our perspective will be. The greater we'll be able to get our heads around the scope of time and our place in it. And on this grand scale, we can see that our lives are not the most important thing that ever happened, but they're not the least important either. Our lives are a, a stitch in the fabric of time. Ironically, embracing the grand scope of time can bring peace in the moment because when you attach to things that are truly timeless, such as love and gratitude and family, then you're attached to something that cannot change. When we attach to our SUVs, to our job, when we place our identity in our job, when we are attached to our nation's perceived superiority, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment because all of these things are going to change. It's inevitable. And even things that seem permanent, like Mount Everest, is passing. It will not be there in, I don't know, a billion years. So by attaching to things that remain true over time, you can smile as the current drama uh, of the moment goes by and know that in the long run, you're a part of something much bigger than that. And you can put your attention on those things that will matter and will remain true over time.